everybody, Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. We just got a few pinfish, literally a, a few pinfish. It's been a struggle trying to get pinfish lately. I don't know what's going on, but a lot of Tom Tates, um, a lot of smaller pinfish, but I got about five, four or five decent sized pinfish, like hand sized pinfish. So we're gonna tie an FG knot, seven to eight foot, um, 80 pound leader. And then we're gonna send that pinfish out there Hopefully we get a bite or two, see what happens. Super rough out here. Was not expecting to be this rough. Probably three footers out there if you can see, but we're gonna go ahead and send a pinfish out there and see what happens. Just finished uh, tying up the leader. Like I said, eight foot of 80 pound mono leader. It's all you need. Don't really need to go with a floral. It's a waste of money when you're doing this type of fishing. We're gonna cinch that, uh, that FG knot down and then clip off the uh, tag ends. Pretty solid FG knot right there. Probably the only time I use FG knot is when I'm fishing for grouper. Cinch it down. Make sure that knot's nice and tight, baby. Here we go, guys. We're gonna send our first pinfish out there. Hopefully they're chewing today. There's no reason why they shouldn't be. It's a big pin right there, man. Hopefully the dolphins don't show up. Here we go. Hooking them through the anal fin, uh, above the anal fin, just like that. Looking real good right there. Oh yeah. Tighten that drag down, man. Never know when these guys are gonna, are gonna hit. Hopefully it's quick. Hopefully it's our first, first bait. Just never know. Last time I came out here, I got them on the first drift first pinfish it's pretty sick if you guys have not seen that video i'll leave it up on the top right hand corner so you guys can check that out 26 inch gag grouper that thing fought that pinfish is pretty big too man when he kicks you can definitely feel him especially with that current ripping out like this with that wind helping the uh the current you can definitely feel him kick when he gets nervous boy Just Come on, baby. Finally. That's a good one, boys. Got him beat from way out there. Damn, got him whooped. Look at him, I'm skipping him on the surface. Hopefully he doesn't go down though. That wind and that tide ripping out, man. I was able to get him up quick. Hopefully that's a keeper, he feels like it. Let's keep him up. First bait, that was so quick too, man. Oh, he went down. I just hope the dolphins don't come. He might be a little smaller, actually. Might not be a keeper. Probably good species right there. Thank you. That guy's probably 20, 21 inches. Not bad for the first one. Choke that pinfish, man. Let's get a measure on this guy. See how big it is. It gotta be 24 inches. Wow, 23, man. 20, 23 inch grouper, just actually, yeah. 23 inch grouper. We gotta let him go, man. He's, he's a little small, a little bit small. All right, let's put this guy back in the water. 23 inches, an inch short. They gotta be 24 inches. But this guy fought, I'll tell you what. Let's put, let's send him back down though. Here we go. He gone. First grouper of the day, man. That guy had no chance 
I had them up the surface. I was literally skating them across the surface, way out there, probably 15, um, 15 yards out. Crazy, man, got them whooped, surprisingly. What I'm thinking is, you know, me pulling and the wind pushing that current out, it just, I don't know, I was able to get them up the surface quick, I guess. So that tide is coming to slack now. I mean, it's, it's slowly moving. Still going out, but like I said, it's super slow. It's not ideal. When you're out here fishing for grouper, you want, you want that water to, to rip out. Uh, you want strong moving current. But we might have to target something else. I mean, it's been a good morning so far. Landed a 23 inch gag grouper, even though it's not a keeper, uh, still, still fun, man. They, get, they put up a fight. I'm gonna spend like probably 15 to 20 minutes Drifting the rest of the uh, pinfish we have left in the bucket. We only have like a couple of decent sized pinfish left in the bucket. The rest are just like super small. Can't really uh, fish with them for grouper. You, you can use them for like snook, um, redfish or whatever, but not, not for grouper. You want something that's nice and big. You want a pinfish that's decent size, like the size of your hand. But like I said, we're gonna go target something else. There's one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh those are big ones right next to them. Switched up guys. Targeting mackerel. Seeing these guys just uh blowing up wild grouper fishing, so might as well just uh throw the crappie jig out there, see if we can uh hook them up and here we are. That's a keeper mackerel right there. This guy's a little small, but we're gonna send him back. They gotta be 12 inches to the fork, but let's put this guy back in the water. <laughs> That's cool that they're uh, starting to show up here at the Skyway. I remember a couple months ago, I was uh, struggling trying to find these mackerel. Ended up finding them at, at uh, St. Pete Pier. I mean, I was looking everywhere for them. Fort DeSoto, uh, the Golf and Bay Pier over here. But I guess they didn't show up here yet. Until now. What is this? Come on, man. That's not a mackerel. It's a blue one. Or a jack. You know, these jacks are everywhere. Especially for the Soto Golf Pier. A bunch of tiny jacks. It's alright though, because one day, one of these guys are going to grow up to be a freaking stud. That are fun to catch. Send them back. Not the targeted species. Actually, the original targeted species was a uh, grouper. And now we're targeting mackerel because, you know, sometimes you're not always going to crush it when you come out here gag grouper fishing. And you just got to accept that. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's the reality. You're not always going to get a keeper. What the heck is this? Is that a blue runner? Oh yeah, that's a blue runner. Kingfish bait. Out here on the uh, Fort DeSoto Bay Pier. Looking for Spanish mackerel, but I haven't seen any uh, any blow ups or anything like that. So and if you don't get any mackerel, we'll switch up and uh, go for a mangrove snapper. Out here with my buddy Jordan. He's already um, underneath the hut. I like fishing for snapper right now already. All right, so my buddy Jordan's got a few dead bait in the bucket. We're gonna try to have variety. We're gonna get some uh, some live ones. Let's see if they want the the live live bait. These bait are like a few, a couple foot below the surface, so we're gonna have to let that net sink. And in order for the net to sink, you're gonna need a bigger mesh net. This here is a half inch mesh. Um, I mean, you can get away with a quarter inch mesh, but the half inch mesh is going to be, um, it's going to sink a little bit faster than the, the quarter inch mesh. That's way too many. Oh yeah. Low 
loaded with bait. That should be good for a while. That's crazy. These are all uh these are all um threatens. No, they're pilchards actually. We'll save these and we'll use them as chum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. First one baby. That's gonna go in the box right there. It's probably ten. Measure it real quick. It's gotta be 10 inches. Let's see. Zero. 10 and a half. 11 actually. 11 inch mangrove snapper. Oh my goodness, dude. That was a. S you hammered it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Light drag, baby. <laughs> Got him out of the piling. That's another keeper right there. Probably 11 and a half inches, I want to say. They got to be 10 inches. Legal size is 10 inches. You're allowed five per person a day, but not bad. Take him. You want? Yeah. Hey, you need a target. Did it get whacked? A grouper. <laughs> grouper whacked it. Tiny though. Caught his daddy this morning. <laughs> or his mama. But we're gonna put this guy back in the water. See ya. That is a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Had a blast um, catching grouper as always. We got to make our way back to the skyway again. Try to get, um, try to get a keeper. 23 inches, an inch short, but that's fishing, man. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.